Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Chariot. There's a lot of movement right now. Some of you could be feeling that there is a quick movement happening for you. This may even be something connected to relocating, just for a few of you. It could be something also where I'm hearing once in a blue moon. So blue, yeah, blues. Something where I feel there's maybe something quite unexpected that some of you are moving into, but it could be a little bit of an unknown territory. So if you find yourself in that position, there may actually be a lot of... Um, kind of fluctuating energy around you, almost like a bit of a tornado that you feel warped into or, or pulled into. But this is actually something which I feel is bringing you closer to something quite, again, unexpected or serendipitous. Um, for a few people, this could be someone connected to you. So just take it how it's going to resonate with you. But I'm definitely getting that there is a lot of swirling of energy that's around the collective at the moment. So you may be feeling here that there's, uh, again, a lot of movement happening for you. I am also getting a focus here on the heart chakra. So you might be going through a heart chakra cleanse. And for someone here, if you've been feeling a bit of an uncomfortable sensation or symptoms, if it's something where your heart has been feeling that it's been moving through changes, it could manifest in different ways. It could be crying, it could be purging, it could be even happiness, it could be love opening, whatever that could be. I feel like this is meant to happen for you. Um, I'm also seeing somebody watering plants. So I don't know if maybe you feel drawn to get some house plants in your home. That could just be a confirmation for someone. But there's something about inviting in warmth, inviting in nature, or even just nurturing something, almost like growing your heart to nurturing your heart space. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the King of Swords here. There's someone who's sitting back in their... Someone here who's sitting back in an energy of non-action. Tell me a little bit about this King of Swords. There's someone that's connected here to you. Yeah, the Hanged Man. Um, this, I think this is, unless this is connected to the same person with the Chariot, I think it could be opposite though, where this is you here and this is someone connected to you. They could be an air sign. They don't have to be. But it feels like there's someone who's going through a lot of introspection right now, someone connected to you energetically, or you could be involved with somebody. If it is someone that you're already involved with romantically, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be something else. But there's definitely someone I'm picking up on here who feels like they are actually being pushed outside of their comfort zone. So for some of you, it could be connected to the chariot where someone is being pushed outside of their comfort zone. And I think this is someone who, again, has been going through a lot of changes. They could have prominent Capricorn in their chart, or they could just be going through a lot of like upheaval right now in some way in order to move them past the challenges that they're faced with. So um, I definitely think this is someone who you may be in no contact with here. There could be a, a like a, a feeling of you're not in communication at the moment with this individual, or there's even a bit of a challenged communication between you both. We have the Five of Swords here. I'm hearing I want it my way or the highway, or I want to have my cake and eat it too. I think for a lot of you, this is someone who it's interesting because with the chariot, you actually may be picking up on their energy. For some of you, you are connected to them. So it could be like a relationship you're connected into right now. And I think with the chariot, you have been feeling that, um, again, you've been connected to their energy. And I think that you're being pushed also. It's like I keep hearing around the corner. Something is happening around the corner. Something about after the movement. What is this chariot here? Six of Cups. Okay, an Ace of Pentacles. And the Page of Swords is sneaking up at the top here with the Page of Cups. So two pages are, are like sneaking out. Uh, yeah, the reason that it's sneaking out is because I feel this King of Swords character is on the verge or on the precipice of something here to do with communication. 
I do feel there's like a, almost it gives me the feeling of a sudden burst of laughter or relief or good times. So however this is going to connect with you, some of you do feel like you are also yourself on the verge here of moving into new territory, which is going to make your heart really feel very alive, very like I said in the beginning, you know, around the corner or something that's going to be very serendipitous, something that will come out of the blue. Um, Aries energy is coming up here as well. I'm hearing worth the wait. Yeah, worth the wait. So yes, it's going to be worth the wait. It feels like See, tell me a little bit more spirit about this. And I'm getting that for you though, if you've been feeling this heaviness around your heart, it is important that you honor that and that you take some time to think about how you can purge that out of your system. So that might be where I'm also getting it's a, around the heart chakra and the throat chakra, so that connection between the heart and the throat. And again, I'm kind of getting this whole thing could be mixed between two people, so you may be picking up on someone's energy. Some of this could resonate with you, and some of it could resonate with the person here who's coming up today as attached to you. And it feels like what Spirit was saying here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups is that, um, I don't know why I'm seeing somebody at a Vegas pool party, I have no idea what that might mean for you, but someone who's attending a Vegas pool party. Yeah, so look at that, serendipity. Divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprises, a fortunate stroke of luck. So for a lot of you, what I'm getting is that this current time period for you is almost feeling to be closer than you've ever been to what you're looking for or what you've been wanting. So it does feel kind of like a wish coming true, it could even be a dream coming true here for you. And what's happening energetically is that you are becoming much, again, closer to this manifestation. So whatever you could be faced with at the moment, whatever you could be going through, um, you may feel like you're kind of hanging by a limb here or hanging by a thread when it comes to some situation in your life but and it could even be that there may even be a shift in events which will carry you forward into this new start so they definitely want you to know that um, you don't really have to do much at the moment it just seems like something is happening behind the curtain behind the scenes at this time for you which is manifesting really beautifully so for you the viewer of the reading i think this is a confirmation for you that um, good times are waiting for you good times are ahead and with this ace of pentacles and the sun coming up in the background uh, this is definitely something which i feel is happening kind of after a long time a long winding road where you felt that it was not going to happen it was never going to be um, happening i'm seeing for a lot of you too you may be doing a lot here to improve when it comes to your career finances self-improvement um, there may even be an opportunity coming in for you in career and i feel like a lot of gates are opening so energetically speaking it's kind of like i feel if you can kind of picture like the 5d it's like a lot of gates are opening like you have a gate here a door here a door here like a silver door a gold door a blue door and they're all kind of opening simultaneously so this could even be something where the gates are opening um, energetically which have been which have been locked for some time um, I do feel this character here or this person who's coming up is connected to you um, they have been calling or tugging on your energy so I don't know we'll get a little bit more confirmation on this person but I don't know if this is someone that you are wanting to be involved with, but they have been tugging on your energy quite a bit. Um, and I think this is all part of the growth for you. It feels like you could be, for some of you, this could be someone who you are highly telepathically connected to, and you both simultaneously have been moving through a heart opening. Um, and this is what this maybe serendipitous moment will be that will um, align the two of you together. Tell me a little bit more spirit about this Ace of Pentacles. 
I am seeing somebody on an airplane, so there could be travel. That's too many. I'm not going to take all of those. But I am noticing at the bottom we have magnetic, attracting things in life, seduction, charm, attraction to something or someone. I'm also getting the message that go with the flow right now. Some of you have been doing this already. And if you have been doing that, that's a confirmation. I'm getting a strong message of your guides and um, ancestors coming through to confirm that what you've been doing right now is the best thing for you to do, or you are in the flow. You are in the vibration of flow. So if you have laid, sat back, laid back, um, been in your receptive energy, or you've let something kind of unfold naturally, that is where your guides and your ancestors are around you really heavily to let you know that it's something where you deserve this. You may have been going through again, like a tough time, but it's like, you know, you deserve the good coming into your life. You deserve the reward that is going to come in after whole, after all this time, after these troublesome times. And so I do think that th that's kind of what I mentioned at the very beginning of the reading. There could be a lot of stirring or buzzing of energy around you. Or if you haven't had that yet, it's going to come in in the near future. And this is your spirit guides, your ancestors way of kind of coming in to reward you for the work that you've done on yourself. And yes, we have the unseen. So see, look at that. Making magic happening behind the scenes, the blessings that you don't see. That's what I said here. So there's something happening behind the scenes. And I'm getting that it's something that you, you actually cannot see at all. So some of you could be a bit blind to this for you know, a variety of reasons. It could just be that you're not supposed to know the outcome. It could be that you are maybe still going through healing and you can't really see how far you've come just yet. Whatever the, it is, it's like behind the scenes, it's going to all make sense. So remember I said in the very beginning around the corner or something out of the blue. So this does actually feel like something which will just suddenly come in, suddenly snap in out of the blue. And for some, it is going to be connected to a person who you have a strong uh, spiritual connection to, um, combined with maybe some of you doing something creative with your life. It could be a life purpose. It could be with the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, again, I'm seeing something here to do with you unlocking a lot of doors of your soul as well. Soul gifts that you may have had dormant within you. Um, it could be certain creative ideas, painting, writing, sculpting, something I'm getting here to do with the arts. But even if not, it's like you are, you're just beginning to come alive within yourself. And I think it's connected to your heart space too. For some of you specifically, it's connected to the throat and the heart space. So it could be something you're speaking to the world. It could be a craft you have. It could be a, um, it could be a, um, some type of creative endeavor. Yes, at the bottom we have here self-image, improving your self-image, focusing on what you can change, superficial confidence, insecurity issues. So I think for a lot of you, this person here who's been connected to you, they have taken a toll on your self-esteem, whether this has happened now or in the, in the past. This is somebody who's taken a toll on your self-esteem. And I think that this is you becoming in charge. Um, I'm actually getting a very specific message here, which is kind of a side note here, but um, Spirit's saying something about how, you know, with everything going on in the world with like artificial intelligence and social media and something to do with like comparisons or just falsity in the world, this may have even been something that you've been absorbing. If you're very sensitive, you may have been picking up on kind of the um, you know, again, like the, the falsity, the superficiality of those types of things, which has been also contributing to you not feeling good enough. Um, I just think there's something within your heart, which is becoming more open to who you really are. And so that's something that you need to hear that if you've been working on yourself a lot, if you've been detaching from things that don't serve you, if you've been even disconnecting from social media or, um, just not really engaging in the artificiality of the world, that's something coming up here that you may want to do or that you're being encouraged to do. Um, we have sad news here. Let me see what that's about. Let me get the tarot here. Spirit, tell me about sad news. The tower, okay, the queen of swords. 
something you've ignored nine of swords yes yeah, something that you've suppressed that you've ignored this might be something totally separate or could be all connected for a few of you i'm getting it has something here to do with your living situation um or maybe someone else's living situation something you've ignored which i feel is connected to this new beginning in a weird way because what you've tucked under of your heart is needing to be purged out for this new start i'm getting it could be connected to this king of swords yeah because queen of tell me a little bit more about this sad news tell me a little bit more about this sad news okay not so many cards just one card at a time yes we have clean it up at the bottom here though for some of you, this is very specific. You may have receive a, a call, a message, a phone call. I'm going to look at this King of Swords a little bit more because I feel like it could be connected to that, um, which you will need to clean up the negativity around that situation, or it could be something that you don't, um, you know, possibly that you don't want to hear. But it also, I'm hearing the way that you handle it, the way that you're handling something. So some of you, this is, connected to this new start coming in for you you may even have to go through a period of facing something or facing someone in a way where what this is doing for you is it's helping you to clean up your heart space clean up your life so that this new creative you can emerge so just be mindful of that it doesn't have to be like you know horrible news or anything like that it just could be something with the tower i mean it is something which i feel is for some of you, it's something that you have, again, either pushed away or that you haven't seen someone for a long time or you haven't addressed something for a long time and then maybe something comes up for you to deal with or someone returns or someone comes back and it's like it's going to be accompanied with a level of letting go. But this is confirming, again, I'm getting that your guides are heavily with you during this time to help you to align your life and align what is no longer serving you. Someone here could be from Australia, New Zealand, or something connected to that. See, there's something about a house. So I'm not sure what that means. I mean, it could be for someone that there's a delay when it comes to something to do with the relocation. We do have the chariot here. So um, I forgot what I said in the beginning, but there was something connected to possible relocation or travel. I feel that it's like I'm getting someone's world is spinning spinning in circles right now or spinning really quickly so if this does not sound like you it could be someone who's closely connected to you in spirit um probably a romantic connection but it could be anything else too it feels like someone who's going through right now a lot of changes like that tornado here in the background and i feel like this is where i keep hearing the way that you handle it the way that you handle it Okay, let me see what this King of Swords is all about. If there's anything else we can pick up on for this. Because I feel like there could be a love message in here too. The cat is out of the bag. Okay, so some truth is opening. Something is coming out. Okay, so I think this, this is connected. Something is coming out to the open. Some truth is coming out to the open. Some news could be coming through. Again, I do think for a few of you, it may not be for everyone, but there is a tie here to work, career, location, travel, um, especially for someone specific, if there's something to do with Australia, New Zealand. Um, not that you may live there. I mean, that would be too, I mean, it could be, but something maybe someone's traveling to there or someone's moving there or moving away from there. Um, but try something you've never done before passion there's a call that someone has in their heart right now to explore something it's like an echo i'm hearing of the heart an echo of the heart space which is calling someone to have something new so it could even be a relocation it could be that there's a feeling of like i always have wanted to move here or even for some of you if this is something where um 
it's kind of like I feel something is calling someone to explore a new love or to just follow their heart right now. But tell me one more card with this King of Swords. Strength. Yeah, this is again going back to the person here, King of Swords. They could have air in their chart um, or they could just be someone who exhibits a lot of air qualities. They've been, again, going through a lot of changes, sitting back, pondering, doing a lot of, doing a lot of reflection right now. Possibly wondering if they should take a chance or take a risk. How does this King of Swords relate to the viewer? Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. This is someone who has been, again, heavily attached to their ego. They may have been stuck in something for a while. It seems like they have been really in their head so much. Like they have been having a lot of restless thoughts, a lot of in insecurities, a lot of inconsistencies with their life right now. And I feel like they have... I'm hearing the name Tyler something with a TY. This person seems very scattered though. And that could be the person who's going through a lot of changes right now. They could be going through a lot of changes. The Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this is going to depend. For some of you, what I'm getting is that there, this person here feels a level of um, commitment with you or they feel like you're somebody that they want to commit to, but they could be struggling at the moment. So that will probably be for those of you who are already in a relationship or already talking to somebody. They might be feeling like there's something about you which is pulling them and pushing them to be in a commitment with you or to feel like you're the only one that can kind of lead them to this commitment or you're the only one that can kind of push them outside of their heart to be in a commitment here. And that could be what this is representing with the new love and the passion, um, especially if it is a new love or if it's something which requires them to go through a big change. They have been really navigating their heart space when it comes to you. They could be even moving through a lot of, again, heart chakra opening that might be connected to the chariot we have before. This person has been definitely needing to um, really kind of like they feel like there's a certain insecurity or a certain frustration that they're having in their heart here when it comes to how they can be open or how they can be vulnerable, how they can kind of um, sort things out here. How do they relate to the viewer? King of Swords. There's something about you which is very magnetic. Um, some of you could be entrepreneurs, you could be business owners, or you could just be really someone who's taking a lot of care of yourself right now. Somebody could live in Washington State. Here and now. Your true love is already part of your life. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Yeah, for a lot of you, this does feel like some type of reconnection, okay? And I think that it's something where there's someone who feels like they want to bring a reconnection to you, but they're needing to prepare. They're needing to sort of get themselves together. They're needing to, yeah, to prepare for this. Is there anything else you can tell me, Spirit, about this whole situation? That the viewer needs to know because at the same time I'm seeing there's somebody new yes more than one pathway is available some of you may have more than one person more than one pathway that's opening for you that's available for you and I'm getting that your heart is again going through an opening so you actually opening your heart or you even if you don't know it there's something shifting within you energetically within your heart space which is pulling not only this person closer to you, if this is someone who you have like a separation with, but it's also pulling 
new love to you and also new creative ideas, new passionate projects, things like that. So it feels like you have been really go undergoing, again, a lot of like self-confidence, knowing who you are, standing in your own power. And it has definitely been something which is almost the time the time is now for these those doors to swing open for you okay anything else spirit that we need to know the energy this person brings when you are around them will let you know how their vibes interact with yours if you feel uplifted in their presence they are on your frequency if you feel drained afterwards there is a mismatch of energy that's where I'm getting some of you this person could be very inconsistent or on and off and so I, I feel like this is someone who you will need to listen to your intuition about how do you feel when you're around them because I almost feel like this is someone who could be popping back up into your life after some time of being apart for you or away from you this person has cropped back up into your mind because they've been thinking about you so I think that they could be returning or if this is someone you've been dealing with on and off for a while still, they definitely are someone who has been feeling this like tug towards you and tug in your direction. But I do feel like you will have to listen to how you feel when you're around them because a lot of you, that's the message coming up that you may have to, someone here could work in a hospital, be a nurse, but you may have to really honor what you're feeling and for others of you if this is something that you are willing to and you feel okay about the situation there definitely could be a reconnection happening here with that six of cups and i think that it's almost like spirit showing me that your aura is very sensitive now even more than ever so you will pick up on very easily someone's intentions and kind of what they're all about how they're going to speak to you how they're going to come across to you so that's something that you may want to, um, that you're going to have to listen to as well. Okay, so we have destiny is taking us down different paths. I gave into temptation. I can see myself with you in the future. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Tell me a little bit more spirit. someone who's very stubborn this this person connected to you is very stubborn very stubborn person again they could have Aquarius Gemini Libra but mainly um, maybe even Leo Taurus it's like I don't know why I'm just getting somebody who's thinking about you so much they think about you when they're in the car they think about you when they listen to music they think about you but they need time. So for some of you, this is someone who finds you incredibly attractive, could even have been a short term fling for a few of you. Um, if not, they could just be needing time. They think about you all the time. And again, they have come up here as like the second card in the reading. So they, they are attached to your energy. And I feel someone here could like soccer too, I'm getting, but I do feel like with this, um, yeah, I feel like they're, they're kind of, It's just someone, it's someone right now who needs time. They need time to figure out what they want. They need time to figure out what to do here moving forward. Um, and I'm even getting for some of you, if there is travel involved, this is just a very specific, um, if they visited you recently or you had like an interaction far, like travel, uh, they went back to wherever they're from or there was something here to do with like a short term thing or they're looking for that or something here to do with like 
with like them feeling with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Emperor that's for whatever reason it's like they don't know what to do about the situation even though they can still see you in the future they can see themselves with you in the future so that's why it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of an energetic tug where this is someone who needs more time and they don't feel good enough for you at the moment this could be a third party connection you were the love of my life. So yeah, they're 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 quite mixed up. I feel like this is somebody who seems to they could have even had a bit of bullying in childhood is coming up for some reason. So they could have had a very difficult upbringing or a difficult childhood, which has kind of made them into this King of Swords character who has been very rigid in life and they don't feel good enough for you. And I think that's so let me get one actually last card to see what you need to know, just because I want to finish it with something about the viewer to kind of see anything else that you need to know, Spirit. What can you tell us if there's any final message about this? Because I want to see here, what does the viewer need to know? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who I feel has triggered a lot of darkness within you, has triggered a lot of shadows within you. So I think that it's important that you do listen to, again, how you feel when you're around them or how you feel when you interact with them energetically. If it's a purely energetic connection, this is where the information came up before that you were unlocking new doors of your own creative potential of your future. And it's really going to be important that you stay centered and grounded within yourself right now. This is someone who's directly connected to your heart chakra. There could even be a cord connected here to your heart chakra, which can be both something that is, you know, that connects the two of you, but also can be there to pull up old triggers in your heart, in your soul. So you definitely may have to make a decision here about whether or not you're willing to embark on the same pathway again, where someone could treat you in this way. Um, and it feels like, I'm hearing the name Eric, Ace of Cups. But you, they, they want you to ultimately trust in your heart. Don't let this damage you. Don't let it keep you from love. Don't let it from keeping you open and receptive to love. I'm hearing Spirit is guiding you. Some of you will work things out with this person, but it will take some time. Right now, focus on things that bring you playfulness. Some of you need to move into a direction which will bring you play, play and fun and um, just kind of laughing more and having more of a good time with your life. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the bowl and see if we can get any final details for this reading. These do not have to resonate. These are only going to be confirmations for anything, any of the details that came up here today or any names that could come up for you. So you may want to turn down the volume. It could be a little bit loud. getting a sense too. this could be someone who puts on a bit of a show okay with the king of swords there's like an uncomfortability within them and they're putting on a bit of a show to be someone that they're not and that's something that they need to work on okay so for names we have frank lindsay amanda Andy, Carrie, Angela, Jean, Mary, 
Maria, Amber with an A like that, Macy, Julia, Gabriella, Minu, Tess, Sissy, Telma, Jessica, Jesper, Tristan, Olga, Kevin, George, Joel, Evanice, Elfie, Margaret, Jamie, Kristen with a Y, Tara, Ray, Emery, and I think that's it for names. And then for locations, we have Georgia, New Jersey, Wyoming, Maryland, Beijing, Colombia, Pakistan, California, Denver, St. Louis, and Dallas. And let me put this on the ground. And then we have here mechanic, electrician, Capricorn rising, Aquarius sun, life path number seven, and Leo moon. So I hope that these could resonate. Definitely let me know if you guys like these energy updates, just more of the free flow. Um, and I hope this could find someone that it will be for, that you'll find the reading if it's for you. So thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know if this connects with you. And take care. Lots of love. Love. Love.